VLOOKUP is one of the most popular Excel functions. However, this function has its own challenges and limitations, which can be easily resolved with Power Query. Let's start with the basic lookup in Power Query. Here we have our HR file on the left and our payroll file on the right. HR needs the salaries of each of the employees, let's say to calculate the annual bonuses. Employee ID is the common field in both our files, so we need to look up or match the employee ID on the left with the employee ID on the right, so that the correct salary can be returned for each employee. As Power Query works with queries, first we need to convert both these tables into queries one by one. Press Ctrl T to do this, and remember to check my data has headers. Let's do the same for the payroll file. Next, load the data into Power Query and for this, go to the Data tab. And here in Get and Transform Data, click from Table or Range. And now our data is in Power Query. Let's rename this table to HR Data. Now we want to create a connection back to Excel. So in the Home tab, Click on Close and Load, Close and Load to, and select Only Create Connection and click OK. Let's do the same for our payroll data. Let's rename this table to Payroll Data and then create a connection only. Now VLOOKUP is essentially merging of data from two tables or sheets. So let's merge these queries. You can do this by either using Get Data in the Data tab, go down to Combine Queries and click on Merge. Or a quicker way is to right click on the query here in the Queries and Connections pane and click on Merge. This Merge dialog box pops up. Our first table is the HR data. And let's click on this drop down to select our payroll data table. Next, let's select the column which is common in both tables, which is Employee ID. And we're going to keep our join kind as left outer. This means that the left outer join keeps all the rows from the primary table which in this case is our HR table, and it brings in any matching rows from the related table, which is our payroll table. And if we look down here, it shows eight of eight rows from the first table were matched. Let's click OK, and the tables are now merged, and we have a new table in our Power Query editor. Our last column has a table for each row of our payroll data. Let's click on this filter next to Payroll Data, uncheck Employee ID as we don't need that returned and keep Salary checked as that's the info we require and uncheck Use Original Column Name as Prefix and click OK. And we now have our Salary Info in our merged table. Let's send this back to Excel. Click Close and Load, Close and Load 2. We want this data on the existing worksheet. Let's place it right here and click on OK. And we have our table with our matching data. This is also dynamic. So if there are new employees, all we do is right click on our query report and hit refresh and our query is updated. Let's say the employee resigned, so let's remove this line and hit refresh, and our query doesn't return the employee's data, even though it still shows in our payroll table. As remember, we used a left outer join, so we would only see the salary data if the employee was in our table on the left. Now let's use the right outer join in the Queries and Connections pane, right click on HR Data and click on Merge. Now in our Merge dialog box, 
Select payroll data again as the second table. Select our common field, which is employee ID in both tables. But here in join kind, click on the drop down and select right outer. And it shows that we've matched eight of nine rows from our payroll table to the HR table, which is correct. Because remember, an employee had resigned, so the HR file was updated, but the payroll file wasn't, and it still showed the salary of the resigned employee. We now get our second merged table in Power Query. Click on the filter, uncheck employee ID, and uncheck use original column name as prefix. Let's send this back to Excel. And our query loaded all nine rows of salary data, even though there are only eight matching values from the first table. So that's how right outer join works. I just want to point out that if you were using VLOOKUP to look up the employee ID and return the salaries from the payroll file, VLOOKUP would have returned NA, as VLOOKUP can only look to the right as the salary data that we require in the payroll file is to the left of the lookup value, which is employee ID. Sometimes our data from different files are not always the same. Let's quickly add some differences that could cause our merge to not work. Select the data in the employee ID column of the HR table. Press Ctrl F to bring up the find and replace dialog box. We want to find EM all in uppercase and we want to replace it with a space and lowercase EM. Click on replace all and click on OK and click on close. In the data tab, click on refresh all and our two queries are no longer working. To fix this, in the queries and connections pane, Double click on the HR data connection to go back to the query editor. Let's apply some transformations to the employee ID column. Select the column, click on the transform tab, then click on format. We want everything in this column in uppercase and we want to trim any spaces. So that's recorded here in our applied steps. And let's close and load. Let's hit refresh all and both our queries are fixed again. So remember to add those extra transformation steps. Then if you wanted to return more than one value, so here we want to return the salary and age of each employee. Right click on HR data, click on merge, select payroll data as our secondary table Select employee ID in both tables. Let's keep left outer selected. In our query editor, click on the filter, uncheck employee ID and keep salary and age checked and uncheck use original column name as prefix. Send this back to Excel. And we have now returned more than one value. Now, if we wanted to look up multiple column combinations, for example, here in table one, we have our employee's first name and last name, and we want their department and title returned for each employee. Looking up only the first name won't return accurate data, as we have two Bettys, so we need to look up both first and last name. Let's right click on the query, click on merge. We have our first table, Let's select our second table here. In our first table, let's select first name and while holding down the control key, select last name. Then select first name in our second table and hold down the control key again and select last name. We're going to leave our join kind as left outer and click on OK. Let's click on this filter and uncheck first name and last name and uncheck use original column name as prefix. 
And we've now used Power Query to look up multiple column combinations, where VLOOKUP can only look up one column at a time. Remember, all your applied steps are recorded here in Power Query. So when new data is added to your source, all you have to do is hit refresh for all your VLOOKUPs to be dynamically updated. If you would like to learn more Power Query transformations, check out this video here on how to create a dynamic age analysis report using Power Query. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.